All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I did a video about unboxing the snow dog and it, it's doing well. So I want to do a video about like what is a snow dog because didn't really explain that. I just did the unboxing video. So people who already knew what it was are now seeing it unboxed. Um, so I'm gonna do a video about why I picked kind of the snow dog instead of a snowmobile and a four wheeler or an ATV with tracks on it. And kind of what a snow dog is. This is just, so if you guys want to see the first run out in the snow dog uh, link, the link for that video is below. It's coming out or should be out already. Um, so let's go over what the snow dog actually is. So the snow dog, I don't know how to really classify it. It's basically a snowmobile that you don't ride on without the skis. It's literally just a track. And this is obviously extra. This is a John Deere like thing for your lawnmower to dump leaves and stuff. So I was riding in that. But the snow dog is a track and it's got bogey wheels with suspension. So it does have suspension on the inside there. Hopefully you guys can focus and see that. So it's got bogey wheels and just a track. And so this one's the snow dog compact seven horsepower. They make a 10 horsepower. And right now they are basically switching over to just 13 horsepower because it has more power, of course. So let me go over what's kind of inside. And it's basically powered by a snowblower motor, a Briggs and Stratton motor with a CVT clutch in it. Um, basically the same kind of setup as a snowmobile, just a lot smaller or like go-karts are set up the same way. So that's pretty cool. And that gets all powered down through a chain and sprocket system. And now what's different about this than a snowmobile is it doesn't need snow to run on. I'm running on a dirt driveway. There's nothing to cool off. There's nothing to worry about. Uh, keeping the motor cool. It, it is literally just a snowblower engine or a lawnmower engine. So this is seven horsepower they make the 13. Uh, it's got storage in the back for tools and it basically runs on a handle bar system. So I have brakes, I have electric start and my throttle here and this goes up and down. So it's meant to be either rid on in a sled, um, like a sled on the snow or some sort of buggy. They do make a couple of accessories and I'll leave the links for those below. But the reason I picked this instead of a snowmobile is one, it fits on this or it fits in the back of my truck with my cap on. So I'm going to be using it for ice fishing predominantly and I can drive it up on this with this 120 bucks from Harbor Freight Tool or I can just drive it in the back of my truck with a small ramp. It only weighs like 240 pounds so a couple of people can lift it up. Um, you don't have to insure it if you don't have to, if you don't want to. And some states you don't even have to register it because it's it's considered basically like a lawnmower because you're not actually riding on it, you're using it to pull something around. So it depends on your state. So don't don't quote me on that. I haven't figured out how to register it or if I have to in New Hampshire. So that's basically it. Uh, that's the reason I chose it. So I'm more portable. I don't need to buy a trailer. I don't need to, to might not have to register it. So that's cheaper there. It's only like $2,000. The top one's just under $4,000, I think. Um, a lot cheaper. Don't need to worry about snow and ice. Um, trying to cool the engine off. I can just run it on normal dirt. You know, it's got the headlamp in the front. It does have some storage up here, which I might put something up there eventually. Uh, I have to figure out a way to like mount it, keep it stiff in there, because it is a little bit like front heavy or front light. Um, but yeah, it's super lightweight. Goes about 15 miles an hour. And you know, it's a lot cheaper than an ATV with tracks on it. So it's got very low impact um, on the ground. Great traction, of course, compared to a, you know, an ATV in the snow where it would just sink through without tracks. And tracks on a four wheeler or ATV are like super expensive. So that's why I picked this. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what the snow dog is. It's got this little pinta hook in the back. It's got little flaps to keep the rocks out of your face and snow out of your face. So can't wait to try it in the snow. Um, that's basically what is that's basically what is a snow dog and um like i said the bigger one has reverse and like 13 and a half horsepower so it's more of a beast than this uh, but i wanted the small one to start out when this one was on sale and i couldn't resist so guys let me know if you have any questions about the snow dog uh the one thing that i've had questions about it already is you know what is it and then two if you go to the website you can't just like buy it with a credit card because uh, it's a substantial cost so you have to do a wire transfer or send a check. It's a legitimate company. Don't worry about that. Um, if you send them the money, they'll send you a snow dog. It's freight. 
and you know obviously you got to pay for shipping and stuff like that so that's it